What's up, you guys? Thanks so much for tuning in today's video. K Squad, what's up? I miss you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in to another one. So, what was it, like two weeks ago on my community tab, I had put up and wanted to know what video you wanted to see next. Now, I had fully intended to record this video then, but my Canon went out on me. So, I am using my old camera right now, so I don't have a monitor. I can't see myself. There's probably not going to be no close-ups because I don't know how to do the auto zoom and all that in here. But hopefully you enjoy this haul either way i am hauling quite a bit of things that i have purchased in the last month you guys know november was scorpio season so i had purchased stuff um if you saw the sephora haul that i did i did go ahead and get more stuff from the 20 percent off that sephora was given so i have that stuff in this video but we have some of everything there's hair care there's fragrances there's skincare body care i even have some accessories here to show you guys so I hope you guys enjoy this video and maybe a little long one, so go ahead, grab a drink. I got my iced coffee here. Grab your drink of choice and let's go ahead and get into this haul. Let's start with fragrances since that's what's closest to me. So from Macy's, I did pick up this set. This is the Marc Jacobs Perfect set. So it comes with a one fluid ounce bottle and then it also has the travel spray of the Perfect scent. Now, you, get, you may remember a couple of months back, I did purchase the Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense Fragrance. I took that back to Ulta because that just was not working for me. It smelled like, like popcorn and feet. It wasn't for me. But this one actually smells sweet. I've worn it a couple of times. I don't know if you can see. There is a little bit of wear in that bottle. So I did wear it a couple of times. And I like it. It's a nice, fresh scent. But for both of these, the set only cost $99, and I believe I got like 15% off at the time that I purchased it. That's why I ended up getting it from Macy's. So, yeah, I went ahead and got that fragrance. You may remember in the Sephora video that I did where I showed the Sephora VIB sale video, I had got the Sephora Favorites kit, and in that kit, you get a voucher that you get a full-size fragrance. So, I chose to get the Giorgio Armani Terra Di Joa. Oh my gosh, this fragrance right here, I usually mix this when I wear my uh, Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. It is like a perfect match made in heaven. This one is like a nice, sweet, gourmand kind of flavor. And yeah, I'm not giving you guys like scent profiles and everything. If anything, I'll list them on the screen for you guys so you know. But this is really nice for the fall and I've been enjoying this one. I don't know if you can see, but that one has a little bit more wear than the one that I showed you previously. This has definitely been a go-to for the fall so far. Oh, another fragrance that I was so excited to get. I actually purchased this from the Killian website themselves. And this is the Princess fragrance. It says, I don't need a prince to be by my side to be a princess. I love everything about this fragrance. I love the packaging. You see, I haven't thrown away the box as of yet. And then here, the packaging. You got the I don't need a prince. And you got the little saying there. And then the bottle has the Killian there. It's like a nice globe. The only thing about this is upside down. So you always got to be careful with that. But this, you pull it out. And then your sprayer is there and this scent right here guys this scent right here is everything like it's been a long time since i've worn a fragrance more than two days in a row this one did it to me it's like this i'm i'm not typically one that likes like super sweet fragrances but this is just the right amount of marshmallow and sweetness like it's so good guys so this is another one that i've definitely been enjoying for the fall this one, the bottle is black, so you really can't see through it and see how much you got. But I did get the big boy, and I did hear that this will be discontinued. So if you've been looking to get this, now's the time to actually get your hands on it. I know Sephora is currently doing like 20% off fragrances right now. So if you've been looking to get this one and they have it available, go ahead and check it out. Because this one, I'm telling you, for the fall, and I think it'll carry me into winter as well. This is going to be a good one, guys. I really I have two fragrances here. Well... The other one, I actually, I'm wearing this one today. That's why it's in the room when I was getting ready. But Dossier went ahead and sent over two fragrances. And have y'all been checking out for Dossier? The holiday sales that they've been having have been crazy. I think it's like, if you buy five, it's like under $100 or something. Definitely sign up to Dossier. I'll have all the information down below. Shout out to them for sending over these fragrances, as a matter of fact. I mean, today I'm wearing Woody Chestnut, which is inspired by the Mason Margiela replica by the Fireplace OD Toilet. Now, I... I don't know if you recall, but I do have like the mini set that Replica had came out with last year. And I think they did have it available this year as well. By the Fireplace, it may have been my least favorite. No, I wouldn't say least favorite. I would say there was five fragrances in there. And that may have been, if I was ranking them, that would be like in the fourth spot for me. But I did want to try the Dossier version of it. And yeah, this is, this is similar to the original. It's very inspired. And I just like, I don't spray 
buy it at the fireplace on my actual clothes. I just like to spray it on my skin and leave it more of a skin scent. It's very like smoky and dark in a way like but it has a little bit of sweetness as well i went ahead and grabbed the bottle so um this one is said the top notes is pink pepper orange blossom and cloves the middle notes is chestnut gaia wood and cade wood and then base notes is vanilla peru balsam and cedar wood guys very woody very sultry and deep and i think like the original replica by the fireplace, if I'm not mistaken, is a man's ver man's set, but they say it can be unisex. I'm more than likely going to give this to Babe. He, I might like it better on him. My favorite from replica is Jazz Club, so I'm definitely be looking out from, for more of the replica inspired scents from Dossier. It's one of my all-time favorites and I had finished up a bottle, so I was so happy to get this in this one. So. There you have the scent. This is the Gourmand Orange Blossom. And this one is inspired by Lancome La Vie as Belle Eau de Parfum. Guys, I absolutely love this scent. Like, when I tell you I've been using this, I don't know. Hopefully you can see the wear on that. But I've been using this one a lot as well. I've actually been mixing it with one of the body creams that I'm going to share with you guys in a little bit. But this, guys, I loved it from when I had the original. And I'm so happy to have it from Dossier. Their top notes is orange blossom, black currant, and hazelnut. The middle notes is orris, jasmine, sambal, and patchouli. And then the base notes is praline, vanilla, and tonga bean. And this one, guys, this is a classic scent. I think everybody should have this scent. It's just one of those that if you want to feel pretty for some reason, it's just like really feminine and girly and very, I feel pretty today. So I love this scent, and I'm so happy that Dossier sent these products over to me. Thanks so much, Dossier. At this point, I've done a couple of videos on dossier fragrances and they always hit it right on the head when it comes to the inspired scents so you don't have to spend so much money for like fragrances is expensive like the fact that i've got so many fragrances here now you know what i'm saying it is expensive so i love the fact that dossier offers these affordable options but you still get that same scent and you just get that vibe of smelling good we all love to smell good right i picked up another scent i got this one from ulta this is the valentino Jose Viva Intense. I mean, it's got a small bottle of this one, but I love it. Compared to the original, I have the travel spray of the original Jose Viva, and I'm so happy that I have this one that I went ahead and purchased this. I love the packaging. I just love the burgundy little bottle. I love the studs that is so reminiscent of Valentino. Love everything about this. It's just a nice little cute little cube, and this scent smells freaking divine as well. I'm very happy with the purchases, my um scent purchases. You guys know, I'll take something back in a minute. Just like I told y'all guys, I took that perfect intense back. I was literally down to like day 58 of the 60 day return policy and I, I just knew it had to go because it would have been a waste of money for me. Now this one is a little bit more edgy, boss kind of lady. I don't know, I just love it. It's like, I don't know, the studs always give me that rocker chic kind of girl and that's what this scent gives me. So I'm very happy with the Bose Viva Intense. I did get a sample from one of my Sephora orders. This is the Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. I have quite a bit of these samples, and I just love the fact that I've never had to purchase it. I do like the scent, but nothing that I would actually buy, especially when I can keep getting these samples. It's not like a huge sample. It's like one of these little spray samples, but it does the job. For that, that's like two wears right there. And trust me, I probably have about three of these in the collection already, so I'm just going to hold on to that. I'm still going to talk about fragrances, but that's going to also lead me into another order that I had purchased uh, before Black Friday. Let me tell you something. Huda Beauty's Black Friday sale was bomb, but I had already purchased the stuff that I'm going to talk to you guys about. So, you know, I didn't get as much savings, but they was offering a deal where I got one of my eyeshadow palettes. Thing went on with fragrances from Huda. We got the K. Ali. I got one of her dual-ended perfume rollerball sets. So this is Sweet Diamond, Pink Pepper, and the Utopia. The Utopia Vanilla Cocoa scent. And I don't know. Let's see if you guys can see the wear on this one. Because I enjoy one way more than the other. So on this side I have the Sweet. What is it? Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. When I tell you guys. Like this scent is so unique. There's such a uniqueness about this scent. But it smells so good guys. Like oh my gosh. It's hard for me to describe this one. Let me okay so on the box it says the nose. Of the sweet diamond pink pepper is pink pepper, bergamot, saffron, Bulgarian rose, vanilla orchid, and sandalwood. Guys, 
when I tell y'all, this is one that y'all need to smell. Like, everybody goes crazy about, I think, the Kali Vanilla. I have yet to smell it. But if it smells anything like this, it must be heaven because that is no joke. The other side is a uh, Vanilla Cocoa, which, mm, you get a lot of the coconut. I'm not really, like, the hugest vanilla person either. But in that, you have pear, jasmine, coconut, sandalwood, and vanilla bourbon. So, it's nice, but the sweet diamond pink pepper, that's where it's at, guys. Also, I'm hey, Bitty, I picked up her, what is this called? This is the Discovery Sampler Kit, which it comes with one of every one of the fragrances that she came out with. I know over the weekend, I'm pretty sure, she just came out with like a red apple. I'm not really the hugest apple fan. I actually have an apple candle burning back there. I think it's like champagne, honey, and apple. But on my body, I'm not really an apple person, so I'm okay with not having that one. This, again, is just like mini travel sprays just as a sampler so you can test it out. I'm going to probably come back and do a separate video on this so I can give you guys my first impressions and thoughts on each of the scents of this the KLE collection. But I'm really excited about that one. This will kind of lead me into a little bit of makeup because also from Huda Beauty during that same haul that I had, I went ahead and picked up the Glowish by Huda Beauty. This is a cheeky vegan powder blush and this is in Very Juicy. The packaging is just like too cute. It's like super tiny though. Like it says it has 2.5 grams, which is 0 0.08 ounces of product. So it's a small blush, but if you think about it, blushes really do last you a long time. Now, oh, little secret, any. I filmed this haul already. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's been a crazy two weeks. I tried to go live on my phone and I did go live, but I never put it public. So I'm sitting there talking to myself through the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> like I still have it like on private at this point but I just wanted to come down and do the sit down video so I did swatch this blush already and when I tell you this blush is like unlike anything that I felt before it's like rough which kind of threw me off but it is a pretty shade I think that'll be like a really good shade for the fall but again this one is in the shade very juicy number zero three and yeah i think it's gonna be really nice it doesn't swatch as rough as it feels when you actually touch it so hopefully with the blush with the brush going in it i won't have so much problems but i am excited to see how this applies on my face see if it's patchy or anything like that but i am a fan of the color so i'm looking forward to actually trying that out on my face and then lastly in that huda beauty order um i did get two of her nine pan eyeshadow pods one was free, and then I went ahead and picked up a second one myself. So this one here is the Purple Haze Huda Beauty Palette. Really nice purple shades. It's a nice mixture of mattes and shimmers. And yeah, I'm excited to try out this formula of the Haze Palettes. The next one that I picked up is the Khaki Haze, which is when this came out, this was the one that I always knew that I was going to end up getting because you guys know my love for green eyeshadows. Actually, my love for purple eyeshadows too, which is why I picked up the other one. But this is what this one looks like, just like a nice camouflage. Less. I love neutral kind of shades, so I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this, and I'm excited to put this to the test. Like, once a year, Benefit and Ipsy always send me something, so I'm very grateful for that. But I wanted to put you guys on because they are doing this year's brow search. And Benefit's brow search, let me tell y'all, y'all can end up winning, what did it say? Like $50,000, y'all. Yeah, 50 k y'all, so... Um, let me give you guys all the information so you guys can go ahead and enter. If you win that 50 G's, hit your girl off because, you know, I put you on. <laughs> but this is the, it says, win the $50,000 and the best in browse crown. How to enter. You have to create a minimum of two TikTok videos or Instagram reels and one in-feed Instagram post using at least two benefit brow products per post. Push your entries between December 1st and February 1st of 2022. You're going to tag at Benefit Cosmetics, use the hashtag Benefit Brows and Benefit Brow Search in each post. Bonus, the more you post, the more chances you have to be chosen as a finalist. Visit www.benefitbrowsearch.com for complete rules. Finalists will be chosen and notified between March 1st and March 15th of 2022. It says there's going to be 20 finalists that will be selected to join Benefit in Tuscan, Tucson, Arizona. There's going to be four days of arch adventures and quick draw competition. And one grand prize winner will receive a $50,000 cash reward and Benefit brand partnership, guys. Good luck, guys, if you guys do go ahead and enter. So sent over a bunch of their brow goodies, which you guys know, precisely my brow is my holy grail product. So I'm so happy that they went ahead and restocked me on that. This is the 4.5 neutral deep brown, precisely my brow. Love that. 
They also went ahead and sent over the 4.5 Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Another fave. This is just the one with like that diamond tip instead of the small tip here. Love both of these products. So Benefit does brows right. And I was super excited to see this. I do want to try this out. This is the Benefit Brow Pomade. This is called their Pomade. So this is also in the shade 4.5. I don't know if you remember. They used to have a brow gel which was like a little it was called the cabral and i remember i used to really love it and then i lost it and i've never found it again so i'm really happy to have this pomade and this is cute here this, i don't know if you guys can see but it's like a little tray so when you actually dip your brush into the pomade you can go ahead and wipe it off at the side because usually i wipe it off in the top of my cap and it ends up looking disgusting so i'm glad that they added that little touch there so really excited to try that out. I see another fave in here. This is the 24 hour brow setter. I told you guys, one of the best brow setters ever is the 24 hour brow, the brow setter from Benefit. Hands down, one of the best. So I'm happy to have another one of those. This one is the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is in the shade 4.5. This one my sister really likes. So I may go ahead and give this to her because I'm not really, I don't know. I've been getting more into, uh, you know, the brow brushing and all that, but Gimme Brow was never one of my favorites. Maybe I'll try it again. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks Benefit for sending that over. And then, oh, this is a new product from them that I haven't tried before. So this is the 24-hour microbladed effect. It has, like, one of them pencils that has, like, three prongs. So you can, like, draw the hair like strokes. So that'll be interesting to try as well. And then they sent that over in the shade Deep Brown. And then last but not least in the box, unfortunately, is a concealer that I can't use the shade. It's not a shade that's going to match me. This is number eight. But I, I've heard great things about the Benefit Boing Concealer. So maybe I will actually use it as like a highlight underneath my brows or something when I'm doing my brows. I think I should answer for that 50 G's. I think I want to now for 50 K. Sure. But Benefit Cosmetics definitely does make some of my favorite products. And I'm so grateful that they actually sent this box over for me to share with you guys. Good luck if you do plan on entering the benefit brow search i'll leave all the information down in the description box below so you guys can check that out and all right i don't have a lot of hair care stuff so let's get into that uh during the sephora sale i went ahead i went ahead and picked this up because uh when i went to get my hair done for my birthday i noticed that this is the leave-in conditioner that she uses before she blow dries and straighten my hair so this is from mazani this this is their 25 miracle milk it says it has 25 benefits leaving for old hair types a nourishing blend of fennel seed oil and sustainability source coconut oil it says it has moisturizing benefits strengthening benefits professional benefits and i uh, i have contacts in my eyes so i'm not going to even attempt to read all that small stuff but everything will be linked and listed down in the description box for you guys to check out you can go ahead and over on Sephora's website, read the description of it. I have used it once so far when I blow dried my hair last time. It was a decent leave-in, but it's nothing I can, you know. I don't have too many thoughts on it. I will definitely continue to be using this. Something that I had picked up from Ulta, I think they was doing like their, like the Ulta hair, you know, when they do like half off of their hair products. So I went ahead and picked up the BioSilk Silk Therapy. This is the original version. And I haven't used this as of yet. It actually still has the tape on it. <laughs> oh. I'm taking off the whole thing. It actually still has the tape on it from when uh, Ulta shipped it. But I'm really excited to actually try this. Because bio soap, you guys know, over the years, when, when you go to get your wash and set and they use the bio soap, you know your hair is going to be laid. So I'm really excited to actually have this home with me and try it out. And hopefully I can get a nice lead blow up myself. <laughs> Speaking of blowouts, you guys, you guys, you guys, I finally went ahead and I invested in the... The Dyson Supersonic, guys. I actually have it. It's not in the box. I have it in the room. I didn't bring it out here or anything. But it, uh, this is just the original one. I know every year they come out with like a holiday edition. I just have the regular one, the gray and pink. And guys, this blow dryer has been everything so far. I actually filmed the reel on my phone. Hopefully, I'll be able to edit it up and get it up on Instagram. But yeah, I've been using my Dyson and so far I have been enjoying it. I've actually used it twice so far. Really been enjoying that. And what makes it even more enjoyable is I went ahead and picked up a piece that goes with it. So this is the hair comb attachment for the Dyson. 
all of the Dyson uh, attachments are magnetic and that's what makes the Dyson so good. Like it doesn't budge when you're doing your hair, nothing's flying off. I know you have those days where your comb flies off or you're burning yourself. I haven't had any issues so far with my Dyson and I've really, really been enjoying that. So the comb attachment for my hair, my Afro 4C hair <laughs> has definitely been getting use out of these products. Really, really enjoyable and to me, worth the investment. To go along with my Dyson from Amazon, I picked up this stand holder. That's why I didn't bring it in here because it's actually in my room on the stand. But it's just this holder. You can put the magnetic attachments here. It has room for two magnetic attachments here. Down here, I can go ahead and put that diffuser down there. And then your Dyson just sits there. Do they have pictures? Oh, well, there's no pictures to show you how to Dyson. But the Dyson just sits up in there and it's a nice stand for my Dyson. So I've been enjoying that as well. And then lastly in the hair realm, I don't know what was wrong with me. I was just on this kick where I felt like if I got the blow dryer, I had to go ahead and get the straightener as well. So I have the straightener right here actually. I don't have it plugged in. But they, the Dyson Corral Straightener. You guys, first of all, I straightened my hair, what was it, like a week ago? Maybe two weeks ago. I don't remember. I, when I went to straighten my hair, do you know that it rained? It snowed on the Tuesday and then... Thursday it rained, so that's why my hair is in these two braids as of right now. Because <laughs> my hair is nice and blown out and straight, so. But my curls, just gone. And I don't want to put too much heat on my hair. But the thing about Dyson is the, the way the heat is dispersed through the plates of the flat iron. And the same thing as far as the blow drying. The concentration of it coming out is basically supposed to be healthier for your hair. And it reduces the possibility of you getting heat damage. So it is worth the investment if you're going to be using it constantly. Like in the winter time is when I like to blow dry my hair. I don't like to air dry my hair too much because I'm not really doing like wash and goes or anything like that. In the winter time, I don't want to walk around with my hair being wet. So that's why I went ahead and invested in the Dyson blow dryer. And like I said, for some reason, I just had to get the uh, flat iron as well. I have used it and so far so good. Like I don't have any complaints on it. So let me know if you want me to do a video about my Dyson products in the future. I'm pretty sure I will come back once I master actually doing my hair with these products. Yeah. Why I just remembered I had a package that I had stashed from Babe in the closet right here. So <laughs> let's open up this Ulta package real quick. I didn't get much from Ulta, but I do have some stuff from Ulta here. That's what made me think about the package. I was on Ulta's website when was it? sometime last week and they had so much new drugstore products. So you know, when the new year comes, a lot of drugstore products drop. And I definitely wanted to indulge. So we have quite a bit of goodies here in this box. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. Then we'll get back to the other stuff. Again, like I said, this is going to be a huge haul, guys. <laughs> so Elf Cosmetics, they came out with some of their new bite-sized eyeshadows. Which for three, four, five dollars, I don't even remember how much they are. But you cannot beat the price of these. And they are really good value, actually. They're good quality products. And you guys know I love me a good old basic palette. So this is a nice neutral palette here. This one is called I Love You A Latte. Maybelline came out with the Superstay Active Wear Concealer. I picked up mine in the shade 57. I believe this is the second to deepest shade. So I'm excited to try that out. We'll be doing a full face of new drugstore products very soon. I've heard great things about these Maybelline Lifter Glosses. They had a whole new bronze collection. So I picked up the shade 17 Copper and the shade 16 Rust. So that's what those shades look like. I'm so excited, guys. Okay, some more Maybelline lip products, which I picked up six of them. <laughs> so we'll be doing a lip swatch video. I'm pretty sure that's why I picked this up. So um, I have the shade More Honey, More Auburn, More Caramel, More Mocha, More Sepia, and More Cedar. So I'm just going to open up one for now because I've never seen these. So it's one of these kind of lipsticks. This one is the shade more cedar oh that's my kind of shade right there look at more cedar that is definitely my kind of shade right there so super excited about these definitely stay tuned i'll do a separate video on all of those swatches. i have six lippies to swatch there for you guys oh this is just a bag of free samples guys like you guys know how i feel about ulta and their samples actually i did show you guys two sample kits that i had got when i filmed this video before I've already put them up in like the giveaway section. I'm not taking them out, but this is more stuff to add to like giveaways and things. 
but I do see a little hemp cream. I always go through and pick out like maybe one or two things from my, that I'm going to keep for myself. But more than likely, most of these products will be going in future giveaways. Also in here, I picked up the Elf Brow Lift. This is gonna this is gonna be like their version of the Anastasia Brow. What is it called? You know that clear brow wax that Anastasia has. I can't remember what it's called, but this is. The elf version of that and they also came out with a brush so you have a spoolie there and then you have like a little spatula that's going to help you to like slick the brows down so i'm excited to try that and then last but not least i picked up a new mascara this is the covergirl exhibitionist stretch and strengthen i do like the original exhibitionist mascara so i did want to try this one out but there's tons of tons of new uh drugstore products out right now so we'll definitely be trying a lot of that stuff out really really soon but going back into stuff that I had picked up, speaking of Ulta, I did pick up this little, it's called the Frenchy Groovy Beauty. It's basically like an organizer where I can store my cotton squares and also my Q-tips and stuff. I just wanted to have that there on the desk. It has like this cute little rose gold mirror effect down there at the bottom. And I just think this will go really nice with the aesthetic because you guys know I had a lot of acrylic stuff in the room. So I just thought that would be a really nice addition to that. Also from Ulta, I went ahead and picked up this Tropic Low Firm and Whip Shea Body Butter. This is supposed to be like the answer to the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream, which you guys know I love. Sadly, I've opened it. I haven't used it as of yet, but I did open it and smell it. It doesn't give me Bum Bum Cream vibes. It does give me like tropics and stuff like that, but it is a whipped shea butter. So I'm excited to see how it's gonna actually work on my skin. It doesn't smell bad, it just doesn't smell like bum bum cream. It smells tropical. It says it's made with shea butter, ugo butter, pistachio, and guacana extracts. So this may be something I may reach for more in the springtime. Cause I did crack open a couple of new body creams lately. And not by lately, I mean as today. <laughs> I did go ahead and use my Hosey Moran Ripped Argan Oil. This is her Ultra Hydrating Body Butter. This was the first time I used this. And mine is in the unscented version. Because sometimes I like to have unscented body butters. Like I told you guys, I wore the scent that was inspired by, Fire the, by the Fire Priest. Would it be in such an intense fragrance? I don't want to mix a body butter with a different scent to go with that scent because it doesn't it's not always going to work out so this was perfect to mix with that scent and guys i don't feel like any kind of ashy like i really do feel nicely moisturized it is winter time so uh, like i said this was the first time that i used it but i feel like with this being what an eight fluid ounce i think it's like 38 dollars if i'm not mistaken i did buy this when they had three times the points on ulta because i really just wanted to test it out and to me i don't know if you guys can tell i only used a little bit of product today and i was able to moisturize my whole body i still do feel like i am moisturized it is unscented like it has like no scent whatsoever <laughs> so i do feel like even though it is eight fluid ounces of product I do feel like it would actually last me a good amount of time because a little of it goes a long way. I feel nice and moisturized and I'm not mad at it. I see why a lot of people actually do like it. So I'm happy that I picked that up. A couple more things that I picked up from Ulta. I went ahead and got this best sellers kit from Kiss. This is their So Wispy Curated Collection. It's basically five different pairs of lashes that they have in this collection. It's their best sellers. My favorites are usually the number 11s, which is also included in here. So I'm happy for that. I've tried Ritzy before and I enjoyed it. Pompadour is looking nice and full, so I think that's going to be a nice one as well. I think I remember trying out the number ones back in the days, which they're a little longer, but still wispy enough where it looks, I don't want to say natural, but you know, they're decent. <laughs> and the only ones I haven't tried, I think, are the number 09. So I'm excited about this set. I usually just wear the number 11, so just to get a little variety going on here, I was really excited about that. The Kids Lash products had to be on sale during that time. I actually picked up two of my Kiss Lash Liners. This is the black version. I think in my last, one of my drugstore videos, I had tried out the clear one. And since I've been using that, I just don't like the fact that the clear tip actually picks up the product that's on my eyes. Even though you're supposed to use it on clean eyes, but you guys know I don't follow directions too well. <laughs> so, I just much rather prefer the black. And when they actually sent this to me, they sent me an extra one. So instead of getting two, I got three. I've already opened one and have it in the room. And I have two backups. So thank you, Ulta. And I think the last product that I got from Ulta is these little spa gloves. These are the Echo Tools Bath and Shower Gloves. I'm really excited to try these out. Earlier this year from Amazon, I had picked up these 
exfoliating washcloths and this is what these look like you just slide your hand in there and my main gripe with that I would much rather have a glove where I feel like it's actually on because you have to constantly like shift you have to like shift the product to make sure it's staying on but these were nice and very abrasive gloves well a very abrasive cloth so I'm excited to see what the gloves are gonna do maybe I'll have you know just more of a enjoyable application of my body wash and everything with these exfoliating gloves so and yeah that's pretty much everything that i got from ulta i'm lying i have one more product this was a restock i just went ahead and picked up another one of the elf holy hydration face creams this is the one with spf of 30 absolutely love this i went through one of them and i just definitely had to get another oh so yeah i got a restock of my spf moisturizer love this and that was the last thing that i got from ulta <laughs> Now before I get into everything that I picked up from Sephora, besides the accessories and everything like that, everything else that I have is from Sephora, but before I get into that, I want to give a shout out to the company first. This is a skincare brand. I believe they sell it at Target. The company reached out to me and offered to send me a couple of products to test out, so I was really happy to actually try it. So far, out of the five products that they sent me, I have only tried this one. This is the Verse Hydration Station booster with hyaluronic acid right now it is winter time we can all use the hydration so this it says we use the good vegan cruelty free fragrance free and dye free and then they lose the bad which is no parabens no silicones no sulfates tricolcarbon no petroleum and no mineral oil use me if your skin says i'm parched okay and like I said, it's winter time. We can all use some hydration in the skin. It says it's a hydration booster, a moisturizer, multiplier made with two types of hyaluronic acid that helps smooth and plump the appearance of skin. How to use it? You mix one to three drops into serum, moisturizer, or face makeup, or you can use it solo. Wherever you apply your skincare, you can use it a.m. or p.m. anytime when you're feeling dry. So... They have the ingredients listed there on the side of the packaging. If you're going to Target and you're just checking the stuff out, all the ingredients are there for you. So if you find, you know you just want to make sure that your skin is not allergic to anything. But again, this is pretty you know like a pretty clean brand, vegan, cruelty free, fragrance free, and dye free. So so far so good. I have been enjoying this. I love the application of it. Like it has the little the dropper here. So you squeeze it, you get the product out, and then you can just drop it into your hands. Really nice moisturizing hyaluronic acid and I have like I said I've been incorporating this into my skincare routine and so far so good I have been enjoying it also from the brand they went ahead and sent over their dew point moisturizing gel cream this is a green tea extract and aloe leaf juice moisturizer it's made for all skin types it's a light jelly like moisturizer that keeps the bounce in your skin so it says it's like it's sealed I'm not gonna open it right now but it gives me like a jelly type vibe which is really good to apply over makeup especially in the daytime this would be a nice day hopefully well next up i have a guards up daily mineral sunscreen you guys know how i feel about sunscreen rain shine winter summer fall whatever you guys should be wearing a spf this one is a spf of 35 this contains sea fennel moringa and moringa seed extract same thing we use the good they lose the bad Reef safe protection against UVA and UVB rays that doesn't leave a chalky finish on your skin. And that's important. Not every SPF has the UVA and the UVB rays. It says it's a quick absorbing non-nano zinc oxide SPF with blue light blockers and pollution fighting antioxidants. Protect skin from your devices and environmental stresses. So this sounds like it would be good just for this type of year in general. Like a lot of us are either working from home every now and then. So you still want to protect yourself because the sun is still coming through their windows, you know. So and it also protects against the blue light. So this one is something. This will probably be the next product that I actually open up from them. Um, before I open up my moisturizer, I think this will be a nice to try. So this is their sunscreen. And this one is a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. And all of their stuff does come sealed, which I, I always appreciate that with skincare, especially in places like Target where people like to open stuff, you know. So just, if, you know, if it's not sealed, then get another one. <laughs> the next product they sent over is their Vacation Eyes Brighten Eye Gel. This is a vitamin C ginseng root extract. Now, one thing about my eyes is very sensitive when it comes to vitamin C. So I may end up passing this along to someone just because I don't want to test it. Even though I like to test new stuff, I know where I can, you know, where my skin just crosses the line. And when it comes to vit vitamin C eye gels, that may not be it for me. I would like to open this, but being that I want to actually probably give this away to somebody, I'm not. 
But the last product that I am actually looking forward to testing out, I actually just finished up a cleansing balm in the bathroom, so this is the next one that I'll be trying out. This is the Verse Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. It has eucalyptus oil and vitamin E. And it says they say no to animal testing. It says massage your dime size amount into dry skin, wet fingertips, and continue to massage them rinse. Use it AM or PM and it's for all skin types. It says it's a soothing oil based balm that melts into skin, removing makeup as it cleanses. Y'all yeah, even the balm itself, so oh that smells like Noxzema. That gives me Noxzema vibes like nobody's business. Oh, but it is a nice gentle creamy balm. Definitely gives me that Noxzema vibes, but you can but you can see it is kind of oily, so I think that'll do good in breaking up the product on my skin. We'll actually be putting this to the test really, really soon. And then also from Verse, thank you so much. They actually sent over this cute little headband that I can wear as I'm taking off my makeup to push all my hair back. So thanks so much, Verse, for sending over these products to try out. Have you guys tried Verse? Let me know down in the comment section below. Have you come across it in Target? Was you interested? Like, I'm probably going to do like a skincare reel or something just to get those products working and test it out for you guys. So, you know, this is not sponsored or anything. They sent it over as part of the haul. So, let's go ahead and get back into some products that I picked up from now. I think we are ready for the Sephora stuff. Sticking with skincare, I just told you guys that Verse sent over that headband. But also from Sephora, I went ahead and picked up one of their headbands. This was a really nice Sephora Inside of Beauty Perk. I don't know if it was 250 points or whatever it was. I don't know how many points I used for this. But it's basically, it comes with a skincare spatula and the spa headband set. So this is the skincare spatula. I've actually been using one that I had got from BoxyCharm, but I'm not the biggest fan of that. So hopefully this one will do better for me. And then it also comes with this nice little headband that you can put on make sure your face you know your edges don't get wet and it'll absorb all that liquid and make sure you don't you know mess up your hair when you're actually doing your skincare so i picked that up that was a point perk from sephora now earlier in the video i mentioned to you guys with that other dossier fragrance the one that was inspired by the lancome la Vie as bell however you say it this is the moisturizer that i have been using that with this is the sephora body super hydrant corpse all day body hydrator this is actually a 13.5 fluid ounce bottle like this is what i like to see when i hear body cream and i don't know can y'all tell i hopefully y'all can but i have been using the mess out of this body cream like i really do like it i find that i think i do have to use a lot more of this product because the josie moran is a whip texture and so is this but it's also like a thick cream it's not as whipped as the other body butters that i have been trying but I like it. It is definitely heavily fragranced and I, that's why I like that it pairs very well with the fragrance from Dossier that I've been using. But it is a really nice hydrating. I do like the way it smells. You wear it by, yourself, by itself. Like if I'm home and I'm going to bed, I'll take a shower, put this on. I don't even have to worry about putting on any kind of scent because I just already smell good from this. So, of course, the Sephora collection was 30% off, and I I got a really good deal on this. I think the original price of this is like 18 bucks, and with the 30% off as well. So, I think this was a good hit, and again, I got a good amount of product for my money. This is formulated with shea butter, and it says it's made in France, and another product formulated with shea butter, which I absolutely love. So, I've been enjoying this. Also from the Sephora collection, I went ahead and picked up their Daily Clean Refresh Spray. This is their Daily Brush Cleaner. Right now, I've been using the It Cosmetics Brush Bath, but I feel like this one is, first of all, I think you get less product. Oh yeah, because this is 6.7 fluid ounces, where this is 3.4 fluid ounces. And with this being such a large spray, it's still cheaper than the regular price of the It Cosmetics one. Like, this is nice. It does what it has to do. Well, throughout the year, I picked up a lot of natural hair brushes, and that's nothing that I want to wash all the time. So, in between uses, I do like to spray it and clean it off with a microfiber towel. That's what I've been using this for. And being that Sephora had the 30% off, I definitely want to try out their version of it and see what this is about. So, definitely excited about those. Along with that, I went ahead and picked up two more of my solid cleansers. This is what I use all the time to clean my brushes, clean my sponges. I love this solid soap. It comes, if you're not familiar, it does come with this little scrubber. So if you don't have like the... Years ago, I did a video. Let me know if you've been here since I had that Sigma blush cleaner. Because I still have it. I still use it. But if you don't have one of those, it does nice and conveniently come with one of these. You can just put it in the top and use the soap and then use the little scrubber to clean. So I really think this is such 
a good value and I absolutely love them every time Sephora has sales even if they're not on sale I got such an expensive product where I feel like I can't buy a regular price but anytime I can get it on a deal 30% off I did pick up two of those couple more miscellaneous products before we get into like all the makeup goodies but I did pick up two of the candles from the forever mood um, I think this was part of their holiday line that was at Sephora I don't think her full holiday line was there but I did pick up two of the mini uh, candles that she has well, these are 2.5 ounce scented votive candles as it says love the packaging well I just love her matte like the matte aesthetic that she has going on this one is gingerbread trap house definitely smells very gingerbready it says the top notes is marshmallow fluff the heart of it is buttercream cinnamon and clove bark and then the base is vanilla bean amber cashmere and cedarwood and guys i'm so excited that i'm actually filming this haul because i've been wanting to burn this and i will be burning this next time i'm, my, I'm home working from home this will definitely be next you up on cold is very sweet but hopefully once i actually burn it i do enjoy it but i know one thing this gingerbread trap house is just everything that i'm dying for so i can't wait to actually burn that scent as well some more body care items actually i picked up this little trio set this is the african beauty butter mini trio from a company called 54 thrones this is another one of the black owned beauty brands that Sephora has been carrying. I've never tried anything from the brand and I'm super excited that I'm doing this video because I've been dying to bust out one of these shea butter the moisturizers and put it in my bag so I'm so happy that I can right now. So this one is the Kenyan hibiscus and Moroccan rose. The middle one is Ugandan vanilla with Ethiopian honey and then the bottom one is Egyptian lavender and Moroccan mint. So super excited about those i actually think i want to buy another one of these and give these out as gifts as well because you know i like to put people into black owned businesses so i'm gonna open up one of these packages because i've never seen it it's supposed to be a body butter but of course i'm gonna use it more for my hands well it says hand and body butter so you can use it for both it says it's loaded with 100 percent moisturizing plant butters and oils for all day hydration rich warm and sweet best describes our ugandan vanilla and ethiopian honey butter Pure notes of vanilla combined with soft notes of spice, tobacco, and a very deep, sweet, balsamic body note make this scent irresistible. So each one has its own description, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to get into all three of them, but just know I'm super excited about this. They are sealed, so I can't tell you how they smell as of right now. But just trust and believe you'll be hearing more about these products in future videos. So excited about that purchase. Every year, guys. Every year. If you've been here for a couple of years, you know every year I went. I have to get one of my Sol de Janeiro, uh, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream sets that they have. You guys know every year I have to get one. This is the one that I chose this year. So it comes with a full size of the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. We have the Brazilian Crush Spray. Absolutely love that spray. I've never tried the body scrub, but I am really excited about that. I've actually just finished up one of my uh, Tree Hut scrubs today. So that just may be the next one that I'll be using. And then lastly, um, we have the shower gel. It's either here nor there with the travel shower gel, but that's something that I do like to bring if I am traveling. This is what the inside of the packaging looks like. So we have that full size Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which I actually just finished up one of the minis that I had. So I definitely wanted to replenish my Bum Bum Cream. Love that spray, like I said again, it just pierced so nicely. It's like Bum Bum Cream in a spray. Smells so good, absolutely love it. Again, excited to try out that body scrub, which is a pretty decent amount of product. This is actually the size of the Bum Bum Cream that I had that I used up. So that's a pretty decent size. And I think these kits just always hit the nail on the head. I always get one. I love the way they look. You can even keep the box. You can take all the stuff out and you have you a nice box for storage or anything like that. So these are always good gifts and, you know, I give myself good gifts. <laughs> And if I'm not mistaken, that is like all of the, you know, body care kind of stuff. Let's get into some makeup goodies, guys. So, on my face today, I actually wore this over the weekend as well. We have the Sunny Days Tower 28 SPF 30. This is their tinted sunscreen. Guys, this like has like no coverage whatsoever. I am wearing it on my face today. I have on concealer. I have this on and then I went on top with the Patrick Star One Size Powder. I've been using that powder a lot as of lately. If you haven't seen that video where I did the test of the One Size Concealer and the powder, definitely check that out. As a matter of fact, since that video, I went ahead and exchanged the concealer and I'm wearing the concealer today mixed with the CoverGirl concealer 
for a little bit of brightness but i picked up the shade i think it's deep two this time and it's more of like a skin tone shade so that's just a little fyi but going back to this uh tinted sunscreen that's exactly what it is it like gives no coverage it's just basically a tinted sunscreen i will say even though it looks pretty dark in the packaging this one is in the shade third street i don't know if it's a number yeah number 60 third street even though it looks pretty dark in the packaging it is a perfect match i don't know if you can see the tip where you can see some of that product coming out it's already starting to get dirty after only two wears but this is something that i will wear when i just want to do something quick like today coming on camera i just want to do something quick so like i said concealer tinted of sunscreen a little bit of powder this is a nice way to incorporate sunscreen into my to my regimen without actually having to have that added step of skincare but it's just giving me another step step with makeup kind of um, when you apply it on the skin, it's a sunscreen, so to me it just looks wet, which is why I went on top of it with that Patrick Star powder to set it, and that's how I would always wear it. Is it something that I would recommend you run out and get? It's nothing like that. It's nothing to write home about. Um, again, I just feel like it's another extra step, but I am going to try to get my money's worth and continue to wear it, so more on that. Let me know if you want me to do like a video showing you guys the coverage or anything like that. Anything that I talked about in this video. You want more details, you want in-depth reviews, you want to hear my thoughts about it in the future after I'm using it for so long, definitely let me know down in the comments. You guys know I always like to come back. I try to come back and give you guys my thoughts on the products that I hold, that I use. Uh, next up, oh yeah, this one is a good one. So this is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. I went ahead and picked up the Dark Palette. So excited to use this. I haven't used it as of yet. I'm pretty sure if you've been on YouTube and anytime in the last month, you have definitely seen this palette going around. You have your blush, you have your highlighter. These are creams, so it's covered by the little window there. A couple of years back, she had came out with the face palette that has two highlighters and two blushes. I used to love that palette, so I was really excited to see this one. At first, I was like, mm, I don't need it. But then my girl, Beauty with Mika, she went ahead and influenced me to go ahead and got buy it when it came back in stock during the Sephora sale. So I did want to go ahead and pick that up. You got five eyeshadows down here, which I absolutely love me, some neutral eyeshadows. So it was like, I'm going to throw it in the bag. So I will definitely can't wait to put this to the test. And I'm pretty sure you'll be seeing this in future videos to come as well. Even though I did show it earlier in the video that I purchased some things from Huda, during that 20% off from Sephora, I was like, you know what? I also want the bronzer. So I got the blush then, and then I went ahead and picked up the bronzer from Sephora. Um, I got mine in the shade 05 Rich, much bigger than the blush. Cool little packaging. Like, this is very unique, if you ask me. And it has the swirl situation, so... This doesn't feel as rough as the blush felt, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch. Oh, okay. So I think this will be a nice natural looking kind of bronzer. You can see it there swatched underneath the Huda blush. I think that's going to be a nice natural looking bronzer. So I'm excited to actually put this on my face. Again, this is the shade 05 Rich. So, you know, we'll have a lot of things to play with in the upcoming weeks, guys. Out of everything that I purchased, there's this one product where I feel like I just may be bringing it back. And that is this. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Glow Highlighter. I picked mine up in the shade Honey. Now, if you know anything about Makeup by Mario products, a lot of his stuff come in white packaging. Which I'm surprised because he's a makeup artist. I would think that he knows that makeup gets dirty. <laughs> so, I'm surprised as a makeup artist, he makes his packaging white. But that's neither here nor there. Again, this is the highlighter in Honey, and I've worn it a couple of times, actually, and there's nothing wrong with it. I just feel like I have so many gold highlighters. I don't even like really gold highlighters like that, number one, but I just feel like I have so many. Like, when I put it on, it's very noticeable. Like, it's, you see, it's very noticeable. That's a noticeable highlighter, but when I actually go over my face, when I buff my face, I think it does blend in really nicely. It's just nothing that I don't see myself reaching for all the time, especially with all the highlighters that I have in my collection. I think this was the one unnecessary purchase that I did make. I don't know if I'm going to bring it back. I just find that to be, like, really yellow. <laughs> That's a really yellow highlighter, guys. Let me know what you think. One product that I am excited to test out, though, this is the Patrick Ta. I know everybody was going crazy for that little Patrick Ta blush palette that he had with the three shades. Only one of those shades was really appealing to me. The other two, I think I explained to you guys in my wish list video, the other two shades look like one of the Patrick Todd duos that I have. Like, I felt like the color that I have is actually right in the middle of those two shades that's in that blush palette. 
So I passed on that and I went ahead and got me another duo. This one is in the shade Oh She's Different. And guys, um, I already know the formula of this is bomb because I already have one of these duos. I just wanted to get a different shade and I think this shade will be perfect for this full winter season. So this is the cream. That's the cream. And it's not, the cream is not so pigmented, so it's like actually pretty sheer. But once you go ahead and go on top of it with the powder blush, once you go on top of it, oh my gosh, so pretty. So um, actually, the way Patrick Ta, he's the makeup artist that actually created the brand, and he actually suggests that you put your powder down first and then you go ahead and apply the balm on top. It just leaves your skin looking so glowy and luminous. I absolutely love it. Me, with, as somebody with dry skin, I can definitely appreciate that whole method of application with this. And I just think this is going to be like the perfect shade for these colder months. So I'm so happy that I went ahead and picked up another one of his duos. Going back to Makeup by Mario, I did go ahead and pick up one of his Ultra Suede Sculpted Lip Liners. I picked mine up in the shade Travis. And it comes with a sharpener, which can't go wrong with having another sharpener. So thank you Makeup by Mario for that. Then we have the dual ended lip liner. On one side you have your pencil liner. And I went ahead and swatched the pencil liner right there. Hopefully you guys can see. That looks like a nice, almost like a plummy kind of brown. But I think this is going to be perfect as a woman of color. I think that's going to be so good. And then on the other side, which is so unique to me. Because sometimes you know you get the lip liners that have like that little plastic spatula look kind of thing no this actually has a, a brush for you to actually blend out the lip liner oh and i blended it out perfectly guys i don't know if you guys can see i'm so sorry i don't have my regular camera but i think that brush is actually gonna come in the battery is dying so hopefully i can go ahead and get through this but i did pick up if you saw my previous haul in the sephora haul that i did i got the wrong shade of the lip cheek from charlotte tilbury so i went ahead and exchanged that in store so now I have the shade Foxy Brown. This one is like a little deeper than the Travis pencil that's there. But I'm so excited. Why do I need so many brown liners? I'm not sure. But I went ahead and picked that up anyway. One that's not a brown liner. I did pick up one of the Gucci. It's called the Crayon Contour Lip Pencil. I picked mine up in the shade 02 Tundra. So here's what the Gucci lip liner looks like. Again, I picked mine up in the shade 02 Tundra. And this one is very pinky ready like a pinky red kind of situation but i wanted something different than a brown liner so i picked that up and along with that i did pick up two of the gucci lipsticks i have mine in the shade 204 peggy taupe and 201 the painted veil so let's go ahead i can hopefully swatch these real quick for you guys oh packaging is everything these are my first Gucci lipsticks. I've heard so many good things about these products though. So excited to try these out. So this one here that I swatched is number 204 Peggy Taupe. And I think that'll actually go really well with the lip liner that I purchased. And then again, this one is 201 The Painted Veil. That is The Painted Veil. Peggy Taupe right on top of it. And they are both more pinky of a nude than I was expecting, but hopefully they do flatter my skin tone. I have lip liners that'll help me out if they don't. <laughs> One of my favorite products, I think I talked about this product like all year round, but I wanted to get a different shade. I did pick up the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder, but this time I picked mine up in the shade 5N. Mostly through the summertime, I was using the shade 4N, and I have to be careful because this is actually coming out of the packaging. So this is what 5N looks like. I'm not going to run and get 6N being that my camera's dying. But this is more of a skin tone shade match for me now that I've lost my summer color. So I just think this is going to be a better match. Because I've been noticing that when I've been using the 6N, it kind of tints my makeup. It makes it a little darker than it normally is. So I'm so happy to have this in my collection in a shade that will work for me throughout the winter. And you know, the months where I don't have as much color. Then we have the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Base, which is just like an eyeshadow primer. I've heard good things about this, so I wanted to try that out. I have yet to try out the mascara that I bought last time, so we'll definitely have some Rare Beauty products to be trying. But this is the packaging. Really cute. I just love Rare Beauty's aesthetic. Like, um, who makes this again? Um, I can't think of her name. I can picture her. Not Zendaya. I can't think of her name. Does it say Selena, Selena Gomez? Yeah, I think it's Selena Gomez. 
but I just love the aesthetic. Everything is just really millennial, blush pink, clean, beauty looking kind of situation. So I am excited about that. Um, I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury, another favorite. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Duo. I literally have like this much of my setting spray left. You guys know I have the full size bottle. So I went ahead. This was a good value actually. You get two of the travel spray sizes. Which guys, those aren't like small bottles. These are... 1.1 fluid ounce bottle so I got two I think the original price was 39 where the full size bottle is like 40 something dollars so I think this was a great value and of course from Sephora I got the 20% off and then I think lastly which this is sealed so I'm not gonna uh, swatch this one but I did pick up one of the Sephora collection 12 hour colorful crayon contour this is an eye pencil so i wanted like a brown liner so it's not so harsh and like you know most of the time i do like a black eyeliner uh i wanted something a little bit more natural with a brown liner so i definitely want to try that out but yeah i think that's everything guys let me go ahead really quickly and share with you guys some accessories that i purchased and we'll go ahead and wrap up this video so this purchase here this is my mark jacobs tote bag this is the small size and i picked went ahead and picked up the leather version Guys, this was like the bag of the year. I've seen everybody talking about it, but all of the prints that I saw was mostly canvas. Then they came out with the leather version. And I was like, I want one so bad. So I went ahead, picked one up. Again, this is the small size, but this has been my go-to bag of the last couple of weeks. Really been enjoying this bag. I love it. I love how it slouches. It does come with a strap where if I wanted to wear a crossbody, but so far I've just been wearing it as a tote and I have really been enjoying this bag. Again, this is, I don't know what color it is, um, I still have the tag in the room though, so I'll link all the information down in the description box below if you guys are interested. I have been loving this bag and I see why everybody's been loving it. And me, I'm normally not the person that has like stains on my bag, but being that it says the tote bag, it is a tote bag, right? So I ain't mad at Mark Jacobs for that one. <laughs> and then last but not least, earlier this year, you guys may remember, I did an unboxing of the Brandon Blackwood products that I had purchased. Well, I finally got my first selfie. I went ahead and I partook in the UGG and Telfar collaboration that they came out with. I think it was last month. And guys, I have been loving, like loving my bag. Like how cute is the logo, first of all, with the Telfar and the UGG at the same time. Absolutely love it. It's not as small as like the Brandon Blackwood. If you saw my unboxing, I have the Brandon Blackwood Cara bag. I absolutely love that bag too. But Sometimes you need just to carry a little bit more, so this comes in handy. I needed a black bag, and I'm so happy I got this one. I don't think I would be a fan of the original Telfar, which took me so long to actually get a Telfar because of the material that it's made from. It's not like a ve it's a vegan leather, which is fake leather that they make. So with this material, it's more like a wool with the, I guess, suede, you want to say? Maybe suede material. But I just enjoy this very much so. And the straps, I always said... I don't understand why Telfar doesn't let you remove the straps, but with this little bag, I can definitely appreciate the little straps. I just basically double up and wear it like that, unless I want to wear it as a crossbody, which of course I have the option to do so. And then to go along with that collaboration, I did pick up some shoes as well. I didn't get the boots. I don't think the boots were like so appealing to me, but I did go ahead and pick up these loafers that have the logo there, the UGG and Telfar logo. But my shoes are too big for me. Like I picked up a shade, no, a shade. I picked up a size eight. I wear eight and a half in women's and these are too big for me. So I'm kind of contemplating actually sending these back because they even look long. They look like boats. And I'm just not happy with that purchase. I've worn these loafers once and they're just big for me. I just feel like I would have to wear some thick ass socks just so that they can fit comfortably on my feet. But yeah, I did pick up the Uggs and Telfar collaboration and I was happy to support Telfar with that. So yeah, that is everything that I've hauled since the last haul guys. <laughs> Let me know some of the items that you have purchased recently and if you would like to know any information about any of the products that I purchased. If you tried anything, if you want me to try anything out on camera, let me know. Let me know down in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. If you're new here to Kay's Ways channel, I hope you would consider subscribing. 
check out some of the videos I have on the screen for you guys. Feel free to binge watch me on this playlist. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That helps me out greatly and it lets other people know that they should be watching this video. And who doesn't love a whole guy? So yeah, share this video. Let your friends know K is back with some new videos. And I hope everybody is well out there. And thanks so much for tuning in. I love each and every one of you. Appreciate each and every one of you for stopping by. And I hope to catch each and every one of you on the next video. Until next time, y'all stay blessed.